practice and regulations uh, document vlog. Uh, okay, let's just go straight into things. So, as I go for copyright, the song we are currently covering is actually a cover of another song. So, since we're using that, we cannot actually get affected by any sort of copyright laws whatsoever because of it being a cover. The only way we could possibly get some sort of um, problem would be as if we were to make profit. But because we're using Jack Ralph's uh, YouTube channel, he is unable to make any sort of profit from that channel. So there's no way that copyright can come onto us for the song. Other copyright regulations will obviously have to be branded clothing. So we'll have to make sure that we don't have any sort of big com any company names whatsoever, any logos on anything that we're using, because otherwise they can they can take us down for copyright so we'll either be where we're just basically gonna be wearing no clothing that has any sort of company logos or, any, or anything like that we'll have to make sure we're not recording with anything of uh, a background uh, you know any sort of um, big companies in the background for example like let's say we were recording at the town center and we were go walking by and someone's holding a coca cola can that would be copyrighted because Coca-Cola have the rights for that and not us so even though we're not going to be recording in town but that's just a basic example um, as for the risk assessment goes we'll have to and the public liable the public liable or whatever that's called um, duty of care so for that we're gonna have to well we don't really have many um, risks that we actually need like to reassess the only one we really have is for props and that is basically the only big one we have and for that it's pretty simple we just have to make sure whatever we use so the cameras the props we're using for characters the costumes everything we use them with care so that no one gets hurt no one can get injured by them use them properly and make sure that we use them with gentle care so it's like they're able to do what they're supposed to do instead of you know messing up and you know, hitting someone in the face or dropping a camera and breaking it because if we drop a camera, we're kind of done, and we're not gonna. The, the, the college is gonna be too happy about that. Uh, regularity bodies. Regularity bodies is basically when someone is registered to a certain body. A body is something where a bunch of a certain group of people are connected to. So if an act, if like, let's say a like a photographer, he would be. Um, attached to a photographer body in a if he was a professional anyway and with regulatory bodies the ones who handle music videos and affect them is Ofcom and while this will not be affecting us because we're not going to be using anyone in a professional way we have no we have it's just a bunch of teenagers and stuff nobody who's actually like seriously into their work and no one who's really professional and is a very skilled in that sound of kind of art so we'll be alright but if we were we'd have to check out the regulations on Ofcom and check if we can use that um, aside from that I think we're done just bear with me for a second I need to double check um, sorry this is uploaded late by the way I had to do some Things I see some of the coursework, and I just remembered about doing this. So hopefully this will be all right. Um. Oh yeah, and as for also for another thing for props. We're gonna have to make sure that we don't use them around the public because, for our day, we may be using um my friend Joe, who is gonna be working with us during the film, has airsoft guns, and we're gonna have to gain some sort of permission to use them in the area we're gonna be using them. But because we're gonna be doing it in a massive field with no one around, we're gonna make sure that it's safe. And we're gonna make sure no one, like no one, publicly is around, so they can't, you know get the wrong idea and think that they're actual guns and thinking that something bad is going to happen and yeah you know I'll make we'll make sure we have all of that covered and all of that permission wise um as for trade associations I I don't know about trade associations to 
be honest. But as for regular three bodies go, yeah, Ofcom, Insurance. Well, there would be some if we were to let's say someone let's say someone got injured during our set, they could sue us, but we will be making sure that all sorts of hazards we have in every single way are completely negated and there's no chance of anybody being able to cause harm. So aside from that, I think we're pretty much done. Okay, thanks for listening.